Ho 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 ho, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Pokemon lovers. Uh, welcome back. I, I don't really know how to start this one. I'm going to be extremely honest with everyone. I don't fully know why I'm making this video, but I thought I would have to chime in just because I have some opinions about what's currently happening. So if you decided not to look at the screen here, if you're listening to this in the background or simply can't read, uh, we are going to be going over slightly the new Pokemon leaks that have come out. Now, again, why are we doing this? Because I have opinions on it, but also because I somewhat have a stake in this, being a longtime Pokemon fan. Now, I'm also going to take this opportunity to describe not only my history with Pokemon, but also how I feel about Pokemon as well. And uh, just kind of what's going on. So if you've been living under a rock, right, uh, recently Nintendo has allegedly got hacked and a lot of files, I think about a terabyte of files, have been gotten by some illicit source out there and they've been revealed to us on the interwebs. Now, um, the biggest thing I want to put forth here is we should all have a healthy amount of skepticism with this because... You know, what's your source of it? Oh yeah, it's Twitter, bro. It's like, okay, well, that makes sense, right? But this is where a lot of things are in the leak that kind of dictate that it is a actual leak, right? Like, we have actual files from the game. We have, like, actual sprites and stuff. Now, I don't fully know what was in the leak. I didn't really care to do that much research, but we're going to be keeping this video kind of centered around one certain thing, and that's the, the stories that are coming out. So to kind of give a little perspective on this about, you know, who I am, aside from a Mega Ultimate Gamer, I am a person who really grew up with Pokemon. From the youngest days I can remember myself being, before I even had any sort of gaming console paraphernalia whatsoever, I would beg my parents to let me go over my cousin's house because they had Pokemon. And I would be like, oh my god, please let me play Pokemon, please let me get on the Game Boy. I bet you most people don't even know what a Game Boy is anymore, but I do. So I would play Pokemon at their house. I would play Yellow. I would play um, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, you name it, right? They had it because they were into games too. And, you know, when I first got my first console, which was a Game Boy, one of the things I wanted was Pokemon. Sadly, I never got it because I lost my Game Boy before I could get one. But um, I really want to get Pokemon Emerald. still one of the best Pokemon games, I think, of that time. But I have a long history with Pokemon. You know, once I got a DS, the first game I got on that, Pokemon Pearl. After that, I kept continuing. Now, I kind of dropped off a little recently. I would say the last game I really played was, um, was not Black and White 2. I think it was Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So I did skip Black and White 2, sadly, and that was really heartbreaking because it was the last era of sprites and i think uh, we've digressed since then and this is going to kind of go into why i evolved from pokemon in a way so pokemon back in the day was a lot harder pokemon nowadays is a lot easier they basically give you everything they treat you like a baby i remember back in the day i had to switch my pokemon out from the first like battle to give them xp aside from the exp share now the exp share gives all the pokemon xp Back in the day, we had to read fucking Braille. We had to look at this shit, and we had to guess, oh, this is where you put the Whale Lord. This is where you put the Relicanth. You had to do all these silly, crazy things. You know, even to get Mewtwo, you had to do a bunch of shit. Nowadays, oh, go down this path, the Legendary's at the end. There you go, you got it. It's like, what the fuck is this? But I'm not really here to talk about my problems with Pokemon, which are many, right? Especially of recent Pokemon. The designs are kind of eh it's just gotten easier and again I, i've really moved past it but i've loved pokemon for a long time and i still do right you know just recently we had ash win the championship so that's cool on the anime side so even though i'm out of it i'm not fully out of it my favorite pokemon is obviously arceus though but um this is where things get interesting so this pokemon leak came out right and again we can sort of try and verify the veracity of it we can see if it's true or if it's not but one thing that was exploding the internet is these weirdo stories that were coming out and were proliferating everyone's feed. It's like, wait, what, what's going on with Pokemon? What are they writing about, right? Allegedly, and I'm not going to go too in-depth into them here, right? I'll, I'll read some experts for excerpts from my uh, opinion here, but 
basically it's almost like borderline i don't want to say porn but it's like them getting with the pokemon and it's like what what is this right now again allegedly these were next to the files that were actually beta files you know early design stuff like that actual official stuff and it's like what is this right why is this here so for those of you who don't know the main perpetrators the, the biggest one right now at least is typhlosion now this is where when i actually looked at the leaks and again i'll show them here in a second i thought there's no way this could be true and there's a couple of reasons why now i believe a couple of things are happening here obviously these are not in the fucking games <laughs> like you know they do have some dark lore sometimes right like dark ride basically puts people in infinite sleep and he terrorizes them and sometimes they die who knows right um but there's a lot of times where they don't go too far with this shit these stories are very rough that's the first thing i noticed right even the typhlosion one and there's other ones too they're very rough stories and to me, the biggest culprit here almost looks like they were written by AI. Now, again, other things in this leak I don't think are false. I think some of these things were either shits and giggles from, like, employees just writing bullshit. And maybe they used AI, maybe not, because these things have to be old, right? I mean, there's probably old and new files mixed in, but there's no way in hell these are real. Like, first of all, they never would have been put in the game in this mode like it, the way they are now it, no way no way just hands down it's impossible they would not have put it in the game so they probably maybe left it there as like a joke or again maybe they were just fucking around or maybe they were going to turn into something else but it's like th these things get really fucking creepy but again i'm gonna read it out and it really feels like if you used ai to create stories with very little of a prompt this is what they would spit out and that's some of these stories that are that are the quote-unquote leaks you can even see it trending on fucking Twitter. Look at this. Not all Typhlosions. What is that referring to? Not all Typhlosions are predators in, in a certain sense. But, um, you know, we're, we're going to look at it here. So uh, here we have one about Slackoth. If you want to pause and read it yourself, go ahead. But all these stories seem to follow a certain method. And what they do and what they don't do kind of, again, signifies to me that it could be done by AI. It seems so formulaic. They talk about, oh, there's a man, there's a woman, there, there's someone, right? They get with this Pokemon. They don't give details on these things, right? They just say, oh, this young man, this young woman. Not not any more than that. It's very surface level. Like, they don't go too far in, right? And then, obviously, there's implications. Oh, you know, when the woman regained consciousness here, she was near the entrance of the forest. Sometime later, she gave birth to a child, but it wasn't a human child. It was a Slackoth. Now, this could have to do with translations, because I'm assuming they found this in Japanese, right? I'm assuming it's not in English. But maybe whoever translated it didn't do it right. But if this is correctly translated, this shit seems hella sus, man. So we'll go to one of the ones here, and I'll kind of show how, how it goes, right? It's the one with Lapras, if I could find it here. Uh, even the Stanler one. Look at this. Uh, well, this is Stanler and Lapras. So there was a man in a village, you know, very basic. One day, the man went to hunt for a Stanler, probably for food. He was walking along the coast. He found a Lapras on the beach. And then out of nowhere, it just like skips. No, no details, no nothing. The man had relations with the Lapras. It went back to the sea. The next day, he went to the same spot. He diddled it again. The man had relations with the Lapras again and sent it back again. A few days passed. One night, the like, listen to how crazy this is. The man had a dream. In the dream, the Lapras said, I can't come to you, but I have a kid. Here you go. Right? The next morning, the man went to where the Lapras usually goes. The boy was there. The man took the boy home and raised him. Years passed, the boy grew into a young man, and the father died. The young man was left all alone. Like, there's not even a story here. Like, there, there's barely anything here. It's like, and even in the comments on the right here, right? You could see that No More says this too. The Lapras one sounds like the Octillery one. In the Octillery one, it's basically the same thing. Now again, to kind of play devil's advocate against my own ideas here, in the Octillery one, it could just be made by the same person. So there are ways to explain this logically, but I feel like the more coincidences there are with this thing, the more it doesn't make sense. So it's like, is this even the Octillery one? I don't even know. But it's just so crazy. Like, look, look at this shit. 
in this one, this guy's hunting a Rapidash, right? And the Rapidash says, oh, I have kids, please don't kill me, right? And I'll read it word for word here. We have children now. If I die, there will be none of us left in this plane. The man from the west lowered his bow and said, then I will not kill you. However, I desire your beautiful mane, so I ask you to become my wife. Uh, huh? This guy was hunting this thing. I'm a, I hope for food, right? I hope he was hunting this horse-like creature for food, which already is fucked up, but we kind of know in the Pokemon world that this is kind of something they do, right? They eat Magikarp, probably they eat other things. You know, well within the realm of something that they don't overtly tell you, but you could kind of assume from the other stuff in the games and from other stuff. But here it's just like, okay, he was hunting it. Now he's like, oh, I want your beautiful mane. I was thinking, oh, maybe he can cut it off. I mean, how was the fucking Rabidash talking to him, first of all? But no, it just goes to, I want you to become my wife. Huh? Like, what is this? And more and more of these shits are coming out, and it's just so crazy. It's it's so weird. But yeah, so I did a Google search to kind of see if there was more of them. This is, I, you know, I found the Rapidash one again. It's just like, what the hell even is this? And obviously, we have all the, uh, the Typhlosion stuff now. But, um, yeah, it's just my idea is that either A, these are fake as shit, maybe there's some fake stuff mixed in there, B, this stuff is not actually, I mean, obviously it's not in the games, right, they never put it in, but if it is, if it is official, right, if it's not just joking for shits and giggles, it might be from AI, because I swear to god these things are so fucking weird, it just doesn't make sense. Or, or C, maybe it's mistranslated, or, you know, maybe it was made by the same person, I don't fucking know. But all I'm saying is this shit's a little sus. So I just want to get my opinion out there and say, again, have some healthy skepticism for what you have on the internet. You shouldn't believe everything. But I just want to go over how weird this whole situation is. And one other thing I wanted to mention before we shove off here is there's a little bit of a theory going on. There's a little bit of a speculation going on with this, which I find hilarious. Now, this is a little bit more nuanced, right? So for this one, you might not be under a rock and you still might not know it, but there is a game out there called Pal World, and Pal World is very similar to Pokemon, but I haven't played it yet. Hopefully one day I'll play it soon on Twitch TV slash Technics channel, but we'll see. And um, this game, Pal World, is basically stepping on the toes of Pokemon in some ways. I think from what I've heard and seen, it stands on its own, but that's a different conversation, right? And whether it's legally allowed to exist, I think it is. But it's basically giving Pokemon some competition, rightly so. And Nintendo didn't like this, so Nintendo is suing the shit out of them. And they usually win. So I just find it very interesting. And, you know, people pointed this out like, oh, you know, Nintendo was bullying on Pal World. And a lot of people seem to like Pal World, especially not only for the type of game it is, but the fact that it's leading to competition for Pokemon, who's kind of been sitting on their asses. So this is where it just goes to show you like, oh, you know, they're bullying Pal World, which people like. And then all of a sudden, boom, leak. And apparently I think they know who did the leak. And honestly, it was a part of a phishing scam from what I heard. So this is completely unfounded. This is like tinfoil hat shit right here. But it's just, you know, what what is the irony that Nintendo is abusing copyright laws as they usually do. And they're bullying the small guy, Pal World, relative to them. And then all of a sudden misfortune befalls them with this gigantic leak that looks really fucking bad and really weird in a lot of ways. It's like, you know... The curtain's been lifted, right? Obviously, there's weirdos making certain shit, and there's no there's no shortage of that, especially in the gaming industry. So it's like, it's just curious to see, wow, this is what they thought about Nintendo, and it's just really fucking weird. Like, oh my god, let's go over one more here, right? So I know this one is small, but I'll, I'll read it off here. So um, this one is about the Octillery, right? So there was a time where boundary between Pokemons and humans was blurred, right? So in the coastal village, there was a man one day who was walking along the shore. He found a female Octillery. I don't know how he knew that, but the man had relations with the Octillery and then threw it back into the sea. Like, no foreplay, no nothing. What? What is going on here? He found a random octopus, decided to stick his fucking hot dog in it, and then toss it back? Like, hello? The next day, he went to the same spot and found the same Octillery, and then he did it again. This kind of sounds familiar now, doesn't it? One night, after several days have passed, right, the man has a dream, the Octillery spoke to him. 
I cannot come to you, but I will deliver our child. It's our child, yours and mine. This makes no sense. Pokemon and humans, maybe they're similar, right? Like maybe a Gardevoir, and you know, from what the internet says, maybe a Vaporeon too. But an Octillery? Uh huh? Like it's not even human like. It just doesn't make sense. They come to a dream again. It's either the same person writing it or the same AI making it or I don't know the same person translating it wrong. I don't fucking know. All I'm saying is this shit is sus. But yeah, this shit's crazy. I just wanted to talk about it. Give my opinion that I think most of this is probably even if it is real. It's either for shits and giggles or it's just nonsense. And, you know, I, I hope everyone enjoyed my take on it. Please tell me what you think in the comments below and please watch me at Twitch TV slash Tactic Channel. Hope you enjoyed. Eee!